So you might be in the struggle. You might be in the suffering, or at least that's what you might be identifying with or believing in or choosing that system to believe in. Now, I want people, I don't even want people, but you guys get what I'm saying is that I want people who are watching this or the people who are consuming this content or the audience that is as is listening to this content because I know that you resonate with me based on law of assumption, law of attraction, all that stuff. But ultimately, I have people pay for that. Now, a big aspect of this is, is like really, really go into who you are as a being and see what your belief systems are. See who you are specifically. A lot of us have been caught up in other people's belief systems or other people's way of thinking, other people's knowledge, other people's consumption, other people's projections. A and a, so a a chicken head lock, dude. it's a very interesting concept when, all right. So ultimately guys, I really want you to tap in and chime into your belief systems. So there's a multitude of things. Now, first and foremost, I know that you guys have seen that I've been doing videos in my car. I've also been dropping videos uh, in you know my living room where I'm cultivating that too as well. And I actually like both. So I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna do just one or the other. I am thinking abundantly where I like this cultivation. I think that this is an excellent uh, an excellent thing where it's like on the go. And I think that each of these videos has their own vibes. Uh, specifically when I have a microphone, when I have my computer, when I have notes, when I have all that type of stuff, I can give you the one, two, three, four. Now, when it's on, like when, it, when I'm in my car, or when I'm, uh, you know, when it's just like on or off the top, I guess you could say on the top, when I'm, when I'm doing it on the top, when I'm doing it on the top, ultimately, guys, uh, you know, I'm just kind of speaking from my intuition and my integration of, of you know, spirituality. So a big thing, guys, that you guys might you guys might be like struggling or suffering or you might be going through some shit, which is totally fine. I think a big thing that's really helped me is is like slowing down, patience, cultivation really seeing myself to be like very peaceful and aware. And a real big thing that I've realized is do one more, just do one more, which means like, you know, cultivate one more thing each week or cultivate one more thing each day, cultivate one more thing each month and really see where you're trying to go with your life. And also like, to really hone in on just staying on belief systems because this is the whole thing about suffering is is you have a belief system that it might be hard or you might have a belief system that it might be hard or you have a belief system that it it's supposed to be difficult. You might have a belief system that you have to be this way. You might have a belief system that you have to be this way, that you have to be this way. And if you're not this way, then you're not gonna be accepted. And if you're not accepted, then you feel like you're in fight or flight and that you are going to die. And I ultimately kind of like diagnose myself. I'm gonna kind of go through a little a little thing about myself, but I kind of diagnose myself on my way back from my cardio and my my training today that, you know, like when I was a kid, I acted this way, and I, you know, this type of this type of thing. I was going through these types of characters and archetypes, okay, and then ultimately from that, it was that perpetuated certain belief systems, and then because it perpetuated certain belief systems it also was a cry out for help and it was also like an addict. So am I really who I am or am I who I was? No. Like, and so then I started, well, if I'm not who I was, then who was that and who am I? And then I started really realizing who I really am is the observer of who people had told me to be and the path that people had told me to be and if I kept following that path that people told me to be and I kept being what everybody else projected me to be I wouldn't be who I was today I would still be a drug addict if I followed what other people had told me because that was a cry out for help that was like a that was like a I need attention I need somebody to fucking pay attention to me you know like I always had a 
people in my family, you guys might be able to see kind of through this because I've had enough conversations. But the whole thing is, is, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't care like that. I think that's great that you are able to see me. Um, you know, I, for me, I don't have negative belief systems as much anymore. Like I really started meditating and I still am. And it's been like this last month very consciously. And so maybe it's going to be like a 90 month run where I'm just going to consciously choose new belief systems, new assumptions, uh, new attractions, the way that I speak. Um, I don't care if I'm liked or disliked. I don't care if people resonate or don't resonate. If I resonate with who I am, I would rather resonate with who I am than have a million people resonate with who I'm not. I would be okay with me just resonating with who I am rather than a million people, two billion people resonating with who I'm not, which is implying that I will never sell my soul. And the whole thing about that is, is that I will be the truest version, the most authentic version. Like Ziggy Marley says, got to be true to myself got to be true to myself guys I have to be true to myself now I could be that version that you had told me to be I could be that version that my friends wanted me to be I could be that type of I could be that person that's seeking out uh, I want somebody to believe in me I could be that person that wants attention I could be that beta version of me or I could be the sigma version of me because I don't even need to be an alpha version the alpha still seeks validation from people outside I don't do that I don't I literally don't care if anybody resonates with me and that's what makes me so powerful that I don't care if you resonate with me because I already know there are people who do resonate with me and I'm confident with just those amount of people being you know in my following in my audience being a part of my tribe, being a part of my soul family. And my whole thing is, is I'm really starting to realize that even my own family, even my own friends, even all the people around me are really starting to be like, okay, he does know something. He does know something. Maybe we should listen a little bit. I know he's a little bit weird. I know he's a little bit outlandish. I know he's a little bit crazy. I know he's a little bit ADHD. I know he's a little bit whatever. Whatever the whole perpetuation self-concept that somebody will project upon me it's my choice whether I choose to tap in and believe that projection or not okay if someone's gonna say you're you're great I'll be like I like that projection but if someone's gonna be like you're a piece of shit I'll be like that's what you believe that's not necessarily who I am or who I identify as and I really true I truly believe in identities I truly believe in self conceptualizations I truly believe in perpetuation of belief systems that people have perpetuated belief systems over and over and over you have to work hard to be rich you have to be smart you have you have to go to college you have to marry the same color skin you have to marry the same type of religion you have to marry the same type of race you have to marry the same type of nationality you have to act this type of way and i'm not saying that this is what my family does or whatever but this is a very big thing in a lot of social norms and social societal mechanisms within the human within the human society within human conditioning and human programming so ultimately to conclude this guys is really hone in on what is your belief systems choose and start to focus on what your belief systems are my biggest thing is i'm really starting to, to develop focuses so my whole thing for this is this focus is about belief systems about self-concepts about perpetuation of belief systems and i really do get into this in all of my videos but really guys really start to hone in what do i believe Look to your heart. What do I really believe? And then how can I be that version of which I believe positively? Because you might have a, here's a big thing. Some people perpetuate this negative cycle where they'll use their positive energies to perpetuate negative belief systems. Let me say that again. Positive energies to perpetuate negative belief systems. So don't do that. Okay. You use your positive energies and even maybe your negative energies to perpetuate positive belief systems. You can use your anger to go to the gym and be healthy. I know, like getting mad at all the, the other versions, the parallel reality versions that weren't doing that. 
That's all I got to say, guys. Peace. Much love.